crypto is about to go nuts and it is now the time to actually turn a thousand dollars into a hundred thousand dollars and that's not clickbait i can make it clickbait of course but this is actually doable right you might feel like man the market already went up we're too late you are not too late if anything you are too early okay let me show you exactly what i mean in the meantime like the video please subscribe to the channel turn that bell notification on and there is a patreon link down below where you get access to wallet trackers like alex becker his wallet we have some new wallets and he's been doing some shit that you know well check it out and also private sales um exclusive videos etc now also in this video I just ask you a question if you get the answer right leave a comment i'm gonna get one winner that wins a hundred dollars okay just uh, as a thank you that people are dedicated for watching now when we look at bitcoin right now bitcoin is sitting at 51 52 000 and that's nice like bit let me put it on this chart then it makes sense and that's nice right bitcoin already did more than a 3x if we take it from the bottom it's now sitting at 230 percent if we do take a look at the altcoin market and we take it from the bottom until where we are right now it is sitting at 240 percent so it's basically the same so bitcoin went up slightly over 3x and the collective altcoin market also went up slightly over 3x now in this bull run where we have now institutional money coming in where we have way better projects here than here there's way more to go than you know just a 3x and yes let's say let's say that the total altcoin market goes last run it was 500 billion let's say now it goes to 2 trillion right if you buy it right now and it goes to 2 trillion your collective altcoin portfolio should do an 8x right and if you bought it at around the bottom and it goes to 2 trillion your collective altcoin portfolio should have done a 23 24x so yeah that 3x right now is already a big dif difference but we're talking about like 10 20x's right here that's actually not really what i'm in for yeah of course i mean if i make a 20x with my portfolio hey i'm, I'm done right like i'm okay I'm, I'm totally fine with that but we can make way more out of this market and in this video i'd like to talk a little bit how um and spoiler alert it has to do with new projects of course it has to do with new projects right if we do take a look at the older projects that we have right now then there are already people uh, ready to dump on you, right? If we, for example, look at AVAX, which, you know, by any means, AVAX is one of the better projects, in my opinion, and will do very well. But, you know, if you buy it here, hey, there are always people, you know, that bought it here, for example, or here, that are actually waiting for maybe this point to dump on you, right? Like $70, because they bought at two. Right? And if you buy it at 40 and we finally get to 70, you don't even make a 2x and there are already people dumping on you. Right? That's not what you want. Now, in my opinion, we should really focus on the newer projects. And then comes the question, like, how do you know when to sell when you are in a new project since that project doesn't have price history? Right? If we, for example, take a look at Beam, like, yeah this is where it came from but we have no price history like beam is in price discovery mode from the moment it came out basically and that has something in my opinion to do with timing right i am not really uh, a fan of saying like well if a token it's this price then you should sell right like i expect the bull market to end mid and 2025 wherever that altcoin is sitting by then that's where my sales go hard and uh, slightly before that i will dca out a little more slow it, 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 whatever the price might be right beam sitting at three cents i can say like yeah at, at, at 10 cents i'm a sell right but what if 10 cents gets hit uh, in three months from now right and we still have a year of a bull market in front of us 
yeah, th then my expectation is not that Beam will go down necessarily, right? So that's with the newer projects. Um, speaking about newer projects, congratulations to everybody that, you know, got into the Elysium. I talked about the Elysium uh, at the end of 2022 when they started their note sale. If you got a note, um, then you are making an insane passive income. The Elysium, uh, it went down very hard because of that note sale, but now from the bottom uh, went up 16x in a matter of like, well, half a year basically, not even, right? And these last two weeks were absolutely incredible. It pushed out the, uh, the other 3x. The Elysium is like, it's so fucking easy. It's crypto combined with gaming and AI. That's the magic, like that's like the perfect recipe for success. Very simple. Don't overcomplicate things. Gaming and AI, it's written on the wall. You know, make sure that you make use of that. So the Elysium, it's now sitting at a hundred million dollar market cap. Can it go to a billion? Hey, it's not impossible. Um, Still a lot of selling pressure from the notes. I hold notes as well, so I get tokens daily, right? And at this price, it's already quite some money for me. So yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm selling daily, right? But also I'm not saying like, hey, you should get in right now. But if you were on the early call on the channel, you are making a fortune until the day of today, you've been making thousands of dollars. My goal right now is to find the new Delysium. Not saying that this is not good to get in, but it's a little bit high compared to where it came from. Now, if we look at newer projects, they are killing it, killing it, right? Um, what I said on the channel is, for example, I am a big investor in Cedify. Cedify, if you listen to this, sponsor the freaking channel, man. I've been talking so much about you. Come on. Help me out here. Now, but it's like Cedify, uh, they have amazing lunches, right? And I invested in Hypercycle, for example, all the way down here, slightly lower. And it's now still sitting like it's climbing all the time, right? Hypercycle is just not giving up right here. Um, and it's doing absolutely fantastic. So also great passive income if you get into new projects, right? Serenity Shield, big spike upwards if we look at um where is it ai tech it's doing absolutely it's it's ripping right now right so if you are in lunch pads what i am noticing right now is you know le in, in in 2021 uh mid 2021 and 2021 that's where cdefy started to release projects right but these projects all got vested during the bear market so lunch pads overall have a bad reputation because hey you know projects are not sustainable because they got vested during a bear market right now it's a little bit different now we have a bull market ahead of us right so as you can see right here with bitcoin instead of releasing projects right here it's basically we are now releasing projects right here right so we still have this whole way to go. And if then these projects come out, you'll notice that this is the effect, right? Uh, Solidus AI tech is now steadily sitting at a 12X. You made a 12X, easy, easy, awesome, right? Chain GPT, same story. Chain GPT, um, I don't know even if this was the entry price, but it's now sitting at a 36X. It's such easy money. Chappies is also a project did very, very well. Um, GT protocol, right? All these new ones. So um, I learned my lesson. If I now invest in a project, I'm not gonna refund it, right? Because you never know when it's going to blow up. Like Kodak, for example, as well. People thought it came out. People thought, ah, fuck that. And all of a sudden, bleh, it went up. It's like, man, you have to be a little patient in this market right now. Give it some time and it will be all right. Now, <clears throat> a couple of things that are quite interesting. Octavia, by the time you watch the video, this project got released because it's releasing today, 20th of uh, February at uh, 12 p.m. UTC. I think that this one could be a pretty big banger. Um, also, 
simply because of the fact how long they've been building already. I know I, I've talked to the team uh, like somewhere in 2022 or three or so, and they were already really professional back then. And uh, now it's time. They like these projects, they wait for the right timing, right? They just wait for the right timing. And it shows, like Hasselpedia says as well. First, Mavia set off a gaming token bull run, and now Pixel about to set the nuclear gaming run. Um, I don't know if you followed it, but uh, Pixel absolutely ripped it blew itself straight into the you know top 150 or so it did 156 right it launched it had a market cap of half a billion dollars it's absolutely incredible it launched on binance kucoin wherever this one i wasn't in the pre-sale unfortunately um it, 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 oh my god it, this this thing did so freaking fantastic but this shows like mafia comes out Bam, big returns. Pixels comes out. Bam, big returns, right? We will have more of these. We will have way more of these. And it is my job to find those because I want to make money with them. But it's also my job to share that on the channel because, you know, I want everybody to make those gains, right? And these are not these quick pumps and dumps, right? You can see Pixels, it came out and it's still sitting there. If we look at Mavia, Matter of fact, it came out and it was quite low. And after that, it started to really rise, right? It, it was sitting at 180 and it's, st it's still climbing. While people are, who were in the pre-sale, also I did not participate in this one, but they, they have been dumping if they are smart, right? And the price still goes up. Like, incredible, incredible. Now we will have a lot of those, right? I don't know, like Mafia and Pixels had massive hype, massive hype. But we have good projects coming out. We have really good projects coming out. Xverse, Portal, Aether Games, uh, like too many to, to name. Vendetta, also pretty cool. I will cover those. Um, but don't miss that, man. Don't miss that. And yeah, how can you participate? Well, for example, um, Falcon Forged... <laughs> coming up with the Elysium launchpad. All projects coming through the Elysium accelerator means they are backed by Falcon Forge. This means instant CEX listings, solid marketing, fair launch IDO, but most of all priority for those holding Falcon Forge getting in. So they gave Falcon Forge a new utility, which is great. Falcon Forge is that complete ecosystem, right? Uh, it is a layer one right now. It is a gaming studio. They are working now on the launchpad side. And I must say that if we look at Falcon Forge, uh, it is like nuts. Like, yeah, I mean, it, it was in this range for a long time. And then now it looks like it's in an upper range. But pff, look where it came from, right? Even with more token vesting now than here, which is not that bad though, um, I think they can go back there. Falcon Forge will have its moment. Um, and other than that, man, I dropped a video about lunch pads yesterday. Look at those. It's about Chain GPT, Decubate, uh, Cedify, Pools Finance, and Engine Starter. I have to give a extra shout out to Spartadex. Which is also like, I think that they will have a nuclear run as well. Um, and there are a lot more launch pads like Game Starter, Low Cap, right? Dex Check, Private Sales, all those things. There is so much. Neo Tokyo, Nexus. There's so much right now. Um, and maybe a little too much. But on the other hand, like, is there like ever enough? It, it's not a bad thing, right? So I'm very curious to see how IDO season is going to be like. Um, but nowadays, you can. that's the strategy that I apply, right? I put like whatever I can into such a launch pad. If it does a 10x, nice. I'm going to put that money in the next lunch. And I'm thinking ahead, right? All these lunches, they show up front um, like what their vesting schedule is, right? So for example, Trailblaze, also very interesting, which is also a launchpad, by the way, uh, but it's going to release on Engine Starter and maybe even more. But if you're interested in that, you can look at Trailblaze and you can look like, okay, when are they going to release? 
and what is their vesting schedule? What do we mean by that? Well, if they're going to release, let's say, you know, the first, uh, let's say January 2025, and they have a two years vesting schedule, then you'll know that it's into 2027. If you know about the four-year cycle, you also know that 2026 is expected to be a bear market again. Yeah, if you get most of your tokens vested during the bear market, we know how that goes, right? So you don't want that. Now we have like almost two years of a bull market ahead of us. So if you invest now and the vesting is between now and like, let's say two years, then the vesting is happening during the bull market. And then it's way more likely to make a lot of money by the, you know, um, beginning mid 2025. Yeah, I will not be, you know, participating in that many lunches anymore. Also, because the best projects don't release anymore then. The best projects, they, of course, also know about the cycles, right? These are people, they have experience in crypto. They know how it works. They don't want to release in a bear market. So best projects, they always release around the halving, right? This is where Axie released. This is where Solana released. This is where um, AVAX released, right? In this ha having, now we see we see the, the, the Mavias again, we see the, the Pixels, we, we see a lot of good projects now release because they know about that timing. Projects that release over here, you should doubt like, hey, do they have like, like enough experience in crypto? And if so, then why would they release with a bear market in front of us, right? That's not smart. So... By that time, my whole launchpad thesis is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm changing that. This is for me uh, mid-end 2025. It's not about investing anymore, right? It's about taking profits. 2024, heavy investing, right? 2023 was even better, of course. But we still have good chances now in 2024. Some really awesome projects are going to... Uh, see the market between now and half a year and you're gonna get mind blown about it and that's also exactly what we do with web3 wills i'm the founder of web3 wills and we collectively invest in those projects um, we invested in vendetta games in godzilla and devilmon and games associates x first blood loop all the big projects basically we invested in there you can see them right here there are some huge names over here right <clears throat> and if you feel like, man, there are so many lunch pads out there and the allocations are so small or I live in a country where it's restricted to participate in, uh, to participate in lunch pads in the first place, you can just buy and stake the web 3 Wheels token on web 3 wheelsapp and we invest the collective money and these returns go into the path which you can claim, right? Super simple. Um, because I know, like... I made a ton of money with pre-sales during the deepest of the bear market with only Cedify, right? So with Web3 Wills, we have many launch pads. We have now a bull market in front of us and we have high allocations, right? So I expect, uh, my expectation is great. My expectation is like huge. Um, so that's what I'm doing, a little shill about Web3 Wales, but not just shilling like, it is actually like, I love this. I love to run this. Been working on this day and night. Um, 61 million tokens are staked right now. That's quite interesting. If you know that circulating supply right now is 97 million, so more than 60% of the to uh, of the you know the circulating supply is actually staked and locked. Um, so basically, almost everybody is just staking the tokens because they believe in the fact that we uh, are about to see some great returns, um, and so do I. Now, apart from all of this, and I will cover these projects individually as well. Um, but apart from all these new lunches, does it mean you should not go on the open market and, and buy new tokens right there? Hey, like, you know, I'm an investor in, in many uh, projects at the moment. I have a Playable bag. I have an Eltora, Avex, Beam, Chain, GPT. I have Dicubay, Domi Online. I have almost all of these. But I don't expect the biggest returns from these, right? If I'm completely honest, what I expect 
is again I, I i think that the total crypto market cap could go to around maybe eight trillion dollars which is a 4x from here right that could mean that the total altcoin market could go do a 10x from this point for sure i think that's definitely possible that could mean because this only includes the top 125 and not everything below there and these coins that are below there they die or 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 have bigger returns right so it kind of makes up for it but overall right they they should have slightly bigger returns than that 10x so is it possible to with coins on the open market uh from this point make a 15x or so yes but with most of the coins right here you're not going to get 100x out of this not you just don't right if you again if you look at the Volker forged six dollars nice but is it going to six hundred dollars hey it's nothing is impossible in crypto but i definitely don't expect it right um ronin also three dollars insane project i hold a big bag but this is not going to three hundred dollars bro not this cycle at least solana is not going to ten thousand dollars like these coins are not going to 100x right there are some that could but you don't know which one right so you still have to gamble so if you're going for these explosive gains, again, then you want to just be in new projects. Very simple, very simple. You can see what it did last bull market. You can see what it did even this bear market. So you can kind of expect what it could do this bull market, right? It's like, again, it's the crypto cheat sheet. Also, because most of these lunch pads, they have a refund policy. Right. So if we look um, again, for example, at the website of Cedify, we see a couple of projects that they're going to release. And these are some pretty big ones, right? Xverse, huge. Um, Bloodloop, huge. Metados, I think that this one is quite huge as well. Let's say I invest $5,000. Well, that's a lot. Let's say I invest $2,000 in Bloodloop. And it does 100x. I have $200,000 if I sell it for that 200x, of course, theoretically. Right? So that's a win. If Bloodloop turns out to be shit for some reason, I just tell C the file, like, you know what? I just want my $2,000 back. And you get a refund. So I, I don't see how there is like losing in here. And so far, this has been working out really well. So check it out for yourself. I will, like I said, uh, go over new projects and I think I'll make a couple of videos uh, with uh, five upcoming projects and another video, five upcoming projects. Not to, to tell you like, hey, you should go into all of these projects, but there is so much coming out and I research them all the time. So uh, I want to do that research here on the channel as well to give you your information about these new projects um, and where to get them if that's already familiar. So you have a little bit more, you know, uh, research about uh, these projects and if you should get in or not. Also... Um, I, 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 I said I'm going to ask a question, so now I need to think about a question. What's the uh, project with the highest ROI, the current ROI, that Cedify released? If you know the answer, let me know in the comments, and I'm going to pick one winner that wins $100. Again, to say thank you to the community. I will do this more often on the channel. It's a bull market. I can miss $100 here and there, uh, and if it helps you, that's awesome man all i ask right now like the video man that helps me so freaking much you have no idea it's just click but for the youtube algorithm be like hey this ugly fucking dutch guy people like it for some reason let's push it right let's push this channel almost 30k subs let's get to 100k in this bull market that would be fucking sweet man subscribe to the channel if you haven't turn the bell notification on and we'll catch you guys tomorrow